when the Buddha told the monks to be their own refuge. He equated that with practicing the establishing of mindfulness. Notice, not just mindfulness, established mindfulness. Established in the body, established in feelings, mind, as you experience them right here, right now. Stay on that level. And then when things come up in the mind, you can see them clearly. And this is where the mindfulness comes in. You remember, this st state is an unskillful state. This kind of state is a skillful one. And for this kind of unskillful state, what things do you do to counteract it? And for the skillful ones, what things do you do to, to encourage them? Because there's nobody else there in the mind to do the policing. Your mindfulness has to be established. And then call to mind the right things. That's what makes it right. If your mindfulness is not established, then you get carried away by thought worlds. And in those thought worlds, the duties you have to do and what seems right and what seems wrong will be very different from what they appear when you're just right here in the present moment. We can see this in different cultures throughout the world. In some cultures, certain ways of acting are considered admirable and others are considered weak. In some cases, in some societies, killing, stealing, having illicit sex is considered a sign of a, of a strong and intelligent person. In others, it's just the opposite. That's a case of mindfulness is not established. You float along with the values of the society around you. And what seems right and seems wrong will be determined by where you're taking your stance at that particular time which washes around and there's nothing really you can depend on. Whereas if you stay with the body, stay with the breath, stay with your feelings right here, right now, be sensitive to your mind state right here, right now, you begin to see unskillful thoughts come up in the mind and they really are stressful. And they lead you to do things that will be bad down the line. You can see the connection between what you're doing and the suffering or the lack of suffering you're going to experience. It's because you're right here. So keep your mindfulness established at all times. Don't let it float around. And that way it has a good chance of becoming a right mindfulness, the kind of mindfulness that can protect you. Because as the Buddha said, you are your own protection. Your teachers provide you with knowledge, views about what's right and what's wrong. But you have to internalize it. If it stays on the outside, it's not going to have much of an effect. You have to bring it inside, keep it established. That's when you become your own protector. Only then can you trust yourself.